Hi everyone and thanks for joining us. Phase 1B of the state's vaccination rollout is starting. Those 75 and older are the priority right now and the phase continues to grow. Today, the governor said this phase will be expanded. More than a million people will now be included and Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Matthew Campbell is here right now to tell us who's next. Matthew? Yeah, Mark and Aaron, you know, we've reported on it all week, but we got the confirmation today. Those 65 and older and those with at least one health risk will now be included. And that did send the total number of people in phase 1B from 800,000 to 1.3 million. So the state says this rollout could take months. There is going to be phases within this 1B phase. And we know that those 75 and older are going to be first and appointments are filling up fast. To keep up with the demand, Connecticut is getting tens of thousands of extra doses. And this is somewhat of a reward from the federal government for doing such a good job in this rollout. They're giving us 50,000 additional doses, which will be very beneficial for this rollout. But again, this is going to be a huge undertaking and the state is being upfront with us, telling us that this is going to take time and this will push back people who are not in 1B. Um, but it will take time to get to the rest of the, the people in that category that the governor described. In terms of when the general population can uh, expect vaccine, we've been saying all along that that would be around early summer. This doesn't change that all that much. We've, we've moved some people from the 1C category into 1B. The general population timeline we expect is still the summertime and, and aiming to have, if, if all goes well, aiming to have um, good population coverage by the fall. Now we pressed the state asking about who may be next in 1B and we were told it's going to be determined by those who are most at risk. Coming up at 6, there are health conditions that could also bump you into 1B. We asked the governor's office how some of these health conditions could be verified. That at 6, but for now, that's the latest live here at the Digital Desk. Matthew Campbell, Channel 3 News.